while I was growing up, espionage was intriguing to me. I read many books about it, watched many movies. James Bond, Ian Fleming was my favorite. One of the topics that intrigued me the most within the Secret Services movies or historical significance around spy agencies and all was double agent. So today I'm going to talk about a double agent. This double agent has a unique bearing in the history. There's a historical significance to it. And I believe what he achieved as a double agent is very unique. I don't think anyone else has achieved it. So let's talk about him. His name is Viktor Gryovsky. He was born as Viktor Shilman to a Jew family in then Soviet Union, Russia. And his family narrowly escaped the Holocaust. And after the Holocaust in 1949, after the World War II in 1949, his father and sister moved to Israel. He stayed back in Poland. He was a big supporter of communist country. He was a big supporter of Stalin. Uh, and he used to believe that that's, way, that's how the country should be functioning. But all of that changed in one day when he decided to visit his family back in Israel. He went to Israel, he saw the openness of the country and was tilting away from uh, being a communist supporter. All of that, when it was happening, um, he was in love with a lady with the name Lucia Beronowski. Lucia was the wife of then uh, Deputy uh, Prime Minister of Poland, and she used to work as secretary in the uh, Poland Communist Party. So he used to quite often visit her in the office because he was he himself was part of the PAP, the Polish news agency, so he used to visit there pretty often. And one of those visits, as he was visiting her, he saw a red file written top secret on top of it in the corner of her desk, and he asked her that, what is this file all about? She casually said, well, this is a, this is a speech of Khrushchev, and um, it is just there, I need to put it in the locker. Now, if you all know, Nikita Khrushchev was a very powerful person at that point in time. He was a general secretary of the Soviet Communist Party. And the speech was the talk of the town. It seems that back, I think about three months back, in Feb of 1956, he did a closed room speech to about 1,400 delegates uh, in the 28th Congress Summit of Soviet Union about how bad Stalin was, all the different things that he has done uh, to the people around, and kind of eye-opener for a lot of the people that the image that Stalin has, he tried to correct it by saying that he has done really bad for, uh, for Russia overall and to the people in general. Uh, so he was very interested in reading that. He wanted to get hold of that file and Nikita Khrushchev file, everyone was looking after it. Just to let you know at that point in time, no one had access to it. Even the CIA, the US, the UK, everyone wanted a copy of it. He casually asked his girlfriend that, can I have a look? She said, sure. And as you know, she was in love with him and she wanted to impress him. And she said, sure, you can have a look. He took the file and said that, is it okay if I take it to my home and read it and return it back? She said, yeah, you can do it, take it, but make sure you bring it back before 4 p.m. and I have to put it in the locker. And that's the story. He took it home. Uh, Victor was a very learned person. He knew seven languages and he knew Russian language very well. He read the entire speech. He was shocked. He was anyways, as you know, tilting away from uh, communism. He got very clear that this is the time he has to go away from it completely. He read the whole thing. He folded the file and he started walking towards uh, his girlfriend's office. And at that point in time, something came to his mind. And instead of going to his girlfriend's office, he actually stopped by the Israel embassy. Now, mind you, he was not, not a citizen of Israel, neither he was a spy at that point in time. He was a normal working person for a newspaper. And he just walked into the office and he just handed over the file to the Israel people and said, this is a speech from Nikita Khrushchev and do what you want to. And this gentleman who was there at the embassy, he took copies of it and gave the file back to him. And he came back silently, he put the file back where it was and that's history. Now coming back, that file was of great importance to Israel. If you recall, Israel was formulated in 1948, They're trying to establish their foot in the world economy, in the world forum trying to call out what Israel stands for. And they were trying to appease uh, America quite a lot at that point in time, just to prove that their Mossad is also equivalent to CIA and they can do wonders as well. When this file came to Israel, they thought the best we can do is give it to CIA. And CIA was after it. They'll be shocked that something that we are looking for, a country which is recently being formed, they, their intelligence agency could, could get a handle to it. 
that will impress them and probably our agenda of moving forward with us sub they supporting us will go forward so what at that point in time the secretary did was it was hand um, it was hand delivered to washington dc in the white house um, by by israel secret service agency and then at that point in time us decided to leak it to new york times and it was published all over the paper it is said that because of that news the defragmentation of U uh, the ussr uh, the soviet earlier erstwhile soviet union started to happen and as we all know by 1991 they were completely disintegrated so that's the piece of history about victor griaski who got hold of a file mind you without being a spy agent he caused rather he started the entire fall of what we call it is in you know ussr or uh, soviet union the erstwhile soviet union now going forward with the story victor decided to go back to israel he went back to israel and um, at that point in time the secret services of israel offered him a job and he very happily took it and he was uh, working as an agent for israel at that point in time one of these days since he was a big supporter of communism he was in paper russian knew about him they didn't need, they didn't know that he was an agent to israel because it's a very secretive mission no one knows about it so what they did was secretly they met him in israel one of their agents came and said that look we know that you know seven languages you are in israel now can you spy for us and we know that you work for a government agency that's a cover role he had he said can you spy for us uh, he was baffled uh, he said i need some time to think about it and i'll come back to you so what he did was he took time and what he did he walked into the mossad office and he said look this is the offer i have what should i do they loved it they said go ahead and accept the offer so that you can work as a double agent so he was literally working for israel and he showed that he is working for russia and he became a double agent and he started feeding all the information to them which was doctored by israel they wanted russia to read what uh, they wanted to show to russia so he did that for gosh for 20 odd years and one of those days um, you know the russian came and met him secretly again in israel and said look we are very honored by the service you offered over the decades uh, so we want to honor you with the highest distinguished award the lenin award uh, it's waiting for you in soviet union so whenever you want to come and take it it is available for you uh, and he, though he never went to take it but it was there for him he was awarded that and then when he retired uh from the secret services in mossad or in israel israel also gave him the highest distinguished award for the services they offered to the country so here is a double agent who has got two awards for the services they offered to two different countries obviously israel was logic and legit but uh, russian uh, counterpart didn't even know and they awarded him the lenin medal uh despite he being a double agent so i hope you like the story two parts to it you know the entire uh, nikita Khrushchev part and the second part is about double agent winning two different prestigious award the highest medal from both the countries uh, keep listening to my channel for such more stories and thank you for tuning in take care bye now